we're going to head to a few different department stores to see what type of Halloween decorations they have for 2019. The stores we're going to check out are Lowe's, Home Depot, Cracker Barrel, and Dollar Tree. But we're going to start out first with Lowe's. So let's head inside. If you're ready, come along with me. Alright, so it looks like Lowe's is set for Halloween. Got a basket of artificial pumpkins here. It's like barely working. Welcome to our pumpkin patch. This is more like Thanksgiving stuff but also can be considered for Halloween. It's a nice milk can. Up top here they do have some inflatables, one of which is tipping over. You can see more up there too. The bloody light bulb. Hmm. Deli D. Let's see what's this guy do. Close up, please. Let's the doctor have a look. <laughs> Got some light up pumpkins here. The truck is pretty neat. Unfortunately, I don't have the key. I can't let you out, but let's see. Oh, that's pretty neat. That's some pretty cool stuff. Oh, here it goes. Beware. So, you want to be my next experiment? That one's saying, get out. Skullhaven Hotel. It's hard to see with the light, but it does work. Got some light up candles here. Candelabra. there. That's pretty nice. Here's a little lantern. Lights up. Got a big pumpkin here. It lights up too. And we have uh, an animatronic. Let's see. Try me. How about a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> And we got more inflatables up top. The ambulance is pretty neat with the rotating eye. It's a haunted house. And she is $149. And if you're looking for a bag of skulls, I got you covered right here. And even eyeballs too. And they got some little animal skeletons. Those are pretty cool. Here's some 
miniature skeletons. I guess they'd be considered little people. Got your bugs, scorpions, spiders, hourglass. That is neat. Like a little graveyard scene. Now we saw him already. Let's see, I think these move, yeah, moving books. You have been warned. Turn back before it's candy bowl. Day. And here's the, some of the prices of the inflatables. Got Green Monster, Frankie. There's the ambulance, 149. And the biggest of all skeletons. Well, try to pick that up first so they can see how big it is. <laughs> that is huge. That's almost as big as my head. I got some things they're supposed to display, I think. Oh, yeah, they're. Got some blinking eyes. There's more inflatables up there. And over here, some, let's see, there's a Grim Reaper of sorts. That scared me. <laughs> Cyclops. There's Disco Skeleton. Some more inflatables. Looks like a glow in the dark skeleton. Let's see this guy here. Sounds like, yes, master. Oh, we got a skeleton up there, a tree, jack o' lantern. Those are pretty neat. And we got the wolf man here, $149. A little underwhelming. I figured you'd have a little bit more movement than that, but. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna hang out today. <laughs> Get to know each other a little bit. Pretty needy. Most people will be satisfied just hanging around. No, I want out. I'm not helping him. That probably looks pretty neat at nighttime with the different LEDs. Okay, so I was looking at Lowe's Halloween decorations for 2019. They have a pretty nice selection, better than previous years I've seen. A nice uh, selection of little animatronics and knickknacks for your house. And the witch was pretty cool. The werewolf was a little bit underwhelming. But overall, nice selection. And the best part of it is they're friendly with me filming in there. So let's head on to our next store. All right, our next location is Home Depot in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. Let's head inside and see what they have. All right, right off the bat. Looking pretty impressive. Got several more figures and some animatronics here. But the striking feature is this ship with the skeleton turning the wheel. But we got some inflatables. But we'll take a walk around and check out some of these things up close here. The pirate ship is 329. That is really cool. See a 
this guy here. Got a sound effect machine there. Over here we got, let's see, Towering Jackal Man. Not working. Got Sorcerer. Not working. Oh, there we go. Let's see, uh, this looks like almost like Skeletor. I'm ready for war. I will be victorious. That is the Skeleton Knight. We got the Witch with Raven. Who doesn't work. This is... Wicked Cauldron Witches. This is pretty cool. They've got three of them here. I don't know if it moves at all. Let's see. I think it's just a static prop, but... Oh, there is a button. Let's see. Double, double, boil and trouble. Fire, burn, and cauldron bubble. Round about the cauldron go. In the poisoned entrails throw. That's actually really cool. Look at this, Headless Horseman. I gotta say, I'm quite impressed for what Home Depot has here. I'm show that one more time because the horse's legs actually moved. That's pretty neat. What's this now? This is Macrobee Witch. Come on over here, my little nimbus. Can I take real good care of you? I'll be sure you won't have nothing to worry about ever again. <laughs> Who be this tender morsel disturbing my slumber? Oh, why, it's just a lost, juicy lamb, ready for slaughter. I like the green eyes. Now, this guy looks really cool. What's this? It's the Towering Wolfman. And, uh, he is towering. He's, uh, way up there. Let's see if, what he does. Not too bad. Oh, so we got a uh, witch here. Let's see. Wish I could find a switch for her. I'm guessing she rocks back and forth, but she ain't working right now. But she looks pretty cool. Got some spooky eyes. Everyone's favorite spiders. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice little projectors. Got 
it's a uh, living projections. Same thing. Oh, look at these bloody light bulbs. So that's a classic white, that's a black light, and then red. Oh, they even like flicker too. That's really neat. We got some skeleton figures here. We got dogs, the humans, and they even light up too. We got the red eyes. I think these are those watering globes for gardens. Some foam tombstones. And let's see, this is, oh, that's heavy. It says this is lighted. Let's see. Uh, so, yeah, the skull lights up, but I thought it maybe talks or something. But it looks really cool, but it's really heavy, though. Let's probably go in the dark. Here we have some little people skeletons and bag of bones. That's really neat though. I like the blue glow to it. We got some LED haunted house that's six and a half foot tall. Animated ghost tree. Let's see what we got over here. Some artificial jack-o'-lanterns. There's some skulls, some big ones too. That one doesn't work. Probably have to pull the tab out on it. This is kind of cool. This is, um, yeah, I think it's ceramic. Pumpkin truck. Pumpkin with skull. Raven. That's really cool, too. Crystal ball. Potions. Spider legs. Powdered skull. Oh, that's really neat. <laughs> that's really neat. Let's oh, doing it again. I guess that's how I look. Instant selfie. Oh, look at that. Nice little projector for inside your house. Oh, Beetlejuice. Wow, that's really cool. You can see the projections on the background. That is awesome. <laughs> it's going again. Flickering lantern. <laughs> Plenty of catchy little tune. Oh, we got a chainsaw.
nice. We got a Maraca guy too. So we got a lot of lighting effects here. Oh, webcaster gun. Looks like it speeds out spider web. I never saw that before. I do like the neon trick or treat. That'd be cool to have in a basement or even above your doorstep. Let's see what we got down here. Zombie faces. So more inflatables, fog machines. Ooh, zombie head fog machines. Which, oh, and there is the, um, I'll get you a backup look at it. That is the tree and the haunted house and then a coffin carriage. But really, really surprised at how much they have here. So I think I got just about everything here. Take one final look around, make sure I didn't miss anything. I wish everything was working, but probably about 90, 95% of everything here is working. So I can't really complain too much. I wish that was working though. I got these little guys here, little pirates. And yeah, just some scarecrow hay bales. And some more of these watering globes. Solar light, it says. So, okay, I think we got it all. We'll head outside and I'll give you my thoughts on it out there. All right, so I was looking inside Home Depot at their Halloween decorations for 2019. I gotta say, they came out swinging. I am thoroughly impressed with how much they have in there. A lot of animatronics, special effect items, um, the big theatrical scenes really over trumped Lowe's Halloween section. But we still have more locations to check out. We're gonna be going to Cracker Barrel, which is gonna be for some more small indoor type items and Dollar Tree as well to see what you can find on a budget. So let's get moving. Okay, next location is Cracker Barrel Restaurant. Inside they do have a little country store, very similar to a gift shop, and they have some unique items inside. So we'll check it out and see what they have for Halloween. But they do have a little Halloween section here with costumes and some decorations we're gonna check out and see let's see what this is animated misting skull oh check that out not only does it light up but he uh, emits some mist and fog that is really awesome I'm not sure if I'd pay $50 for it but it is pretty neat Telephone, let's see. Just letting you know that I'm already in the house and I'll see you soon. <laughs> That's not what you want to hear when you pick up the phone, they're already in the house. So let's see, they got some static decorations here. This is really cool too. It's like a canvas picture, but it's animated with some lighting and sound effects. I like the different colors on it too. $39 is not a horrible price. But it's definitely unique and different. There's little figures here. If you're a fan of Scooby-Doo, they got some Scooby-Doo Halloween themed. 
<laughs> you can get yourself a mystery machine. You got Nightmare Before Christmas. Some cat cards. It looks like me when I'm hungry. And some kids' costumes, decorations, novelty stuff. So again, not much as far as Halloween, but what they do have is pretty cool. But this is definitely my favorite piece. Not only do I like the colors, but the sound effects, but the fog and the mist is really awesome. All you do is just add water. You don't need, you know, that fog formula. It just kind of creates it on its own with regular water. All right, so that was Cracker Barrel Restaurant inside their little country store. Not a huge setup or display for Halloween, but what they do have is pretty cool though. Some of the items are a little bit pricey, but I thought the uh, fog misting skull that was color changing and that light up uh, picture canvas was pretty cool. They do have a nice setup for Christmas already, well in advance, actually much more Christmas items than Halloween. I'll put up a picture right now just to give you an idea, but I will return for Christmas time to do a more detailed video of their Christmas items. But now we're gonna head to Dollar Tree, our next and final stop on this Halloween decoration tour. Okay, we're at our next and final location, Dollar Tree. This one's in Pittston, and it's a larger location, so we're gonna see what they have inside for Halloween. All right, so they aren't fully set up yet, but I'm gonna show you what they have. Right in the beginning here, they have some hanging decorations, some skulls, and I guess these are like little ghosts. Different color skeletons to hang on your doors or from your roof. Got witches, pumpkins. Let's see, these are. These are battery operated. I think they light up light up LED motion sensor. Decorations for your windows. These seem to be pretty popular this year. I'm seeing them everywhere. Some colored garland. Rats. Oh, rats. And bats. These are pretty neat too. I've seen them. And other stores, these little skeleton, I guess they're birds and rats. So you get a live rat and a skeleton rat. Fencing, some skull fencing. It's supposed to light up, but it's not working. Candles, lanterns, a lot of these things you get to buy batteries for. more of them. Got some pretty cool chains. What is this? It's almost like a trophy. Kind of skull trophy. If you need a hand, you could get one here. I think we had this last year. I bought this for the house. Lots of skeleton stuff. Glow in the dark, this looks like. Yeah. These are all glow in the dark. Some more vintage looking decorations. Another bat. Some little signs to hang. This is more fall, Thanksgiving Day stuff here. And over here we got some trick or treating items from bags to things to give out for Halloween time sticker books, sticky eyeballs, spiders, even some glow in the dark vampire teeth. These are pretty neat though. That is kind of cool. You could drink like a your favorite potion out of there. Even some ice cube tray molds. That's vampire teeth, jack o' lanterns, and even you could create a whole skeleton. So it's kind of fun little knickknack stuff, you know, for giving out for Halloween time. A little bit of face makeup. Hairspray. 
Now over here we got candy and costumes, so I'll just give you a brief look here. Got your traditional Reese's, Hershey stuff, and then the generic knockoff stuff and nothing too exciting there. And some little kids costumes, you know, not too exciting for a dollar, but you know, ninja, some kind of ninja mask. Let's see if this will fit me. What do you think? <laughs> Can you go as a little, I think reindeer or something. Bunny, unicorn. Oh, this would be pretty funny to wear. Like a troll doll hair. Oh, look at this light up headband. Those are kind of cool. Walk around Halloween time. I don't know, I think this is my color. I think if I get this and this, I'd probably win a Halloween contest. So I think that's it. I mean, they do have most of their stuff out. They're still unboxing some items here and there. But um, this is a good idea as to what you'll find at your regular Dollar Tree stores. And just like most Dollar Trees, they're way in advance of the holidays, so they already got Christmas items out. And you got your pumpkin carving tools and some decorating kits, strobe lights. So, that's pretty much it. So we'll head outside now and wrap up the video. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up my uh, Halloween decorations tour of local stores here in Pennsylvania. We checked out Lowe's, Home Depot, Cracker Barrel, and Dollar Tree. I'm just going to give you a couple quick thoughts on what I was able to share with you today. Firstly, Home Depot was a home run. They have a huge selection and impressive selection of Halloween decorations. A lot of animatronics, uh, unique things you can put in your yard with the trees, the haunted house. I was just blown away as to how much they have compared to Lowe's. Lowe's had, I think, the witch and the werewolf. Everything else was just small, you know, novelty stuff for your home. But as far as animatronics goes, Home Depot was the, the clear winner. And, you know, a lot of people put, put down Home Depot for a home improvement store for shopping there. But as far as Halloween goes, I think they're definitely the lead winner this year. So Lowe's is going to have to step up their game for next year. Cracker Barrel for their country store. Again, that's just small indoor stuff for your home to decorate it. My favorites was the skull that was emanating the fog and the light up picture, the canvas picture. But um, they have a couple cool things there. Nothing too, I should say not too big of a selection, but Christmas time, they are really set up for Christmas. So I will be returning for a Christmas tour uh, to show you what they do have to offer. And for Dollar Tree here, um, basically just to show you that there are different options available for different budgets. They do have a decent selection for, you know, your home for outdoor and indoor items. Even for little kids' costumes, you could get stuff for a dollar. Obviously, it's not top quality. There's no animatronics, no special effects stuff. But for some little, you know, staging areas for your yard, like with the fencing, some window decorations, the skulls, stuff like that. Not bad for a dollar. You can buy a couple of them, put them wherever you want. But the reason I made this video is just to show you that there is other options out there besides Spirit Halloween and besides Halloween City. No matter what your budget, you could find stuff pretty much anywhere, whether it's a dollar at the Dollar Tree or spending several hundred dollars at Home Depot. So whatever your budget is, you do have options available. And hopefully you did appreciate, I should say, hopefully you do appreciate the video that I provided for you today and the footage I was able to share with you at these different stores. If you did, the best way to show your support is to give a big thumbs up. Comment down below, tell me what your favorite store was or the favorite item that you saw in this video. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Also down below in the description, I will link up my Halloween playlist where you'll find more other Halloween related videos from last year and new ones coming out this year as well, including my Spirit Halloween tour for 2019. So with that said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. Have a happy Halloween. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.